Dog bite and cat bite. Dog bite is the most common animal bite in America. The dog bite has a lower rate of infection than the cat bite. Dogs will give infection in about 2 to 5 percent. Cats will give infection in about 30 to 50 percent. Dogs got teeth, very prominent ones, with a lot of pressure when they bite. The jaw is very powerful, and large dogs tend to go for the jugular to the area of the head and neck and create wounds there. Suspect the animal is infected if the animal has unprovoked attack and bizarre behavior. Other causes of unprovoked attacks if you approach their young and if they are protecting their territory, or if an animal is eating and try to come near them, or you try to separate a fight. Dog bite tears, avulses, and crushes the soft tissue, which can be treated by cleaning it in the emergency room and local wound care plus some antibiotics. In some cases, which is rare, the crush is so severe that compartment syndrome may develop and the patient may need fasciotomy. The dog is usually known to the victim in about 90% of the cases. Most of the involved dogs revert to normal, friendly behavior after the attack. There are more dog bites than cat bites than human bites. Females are bitten more by cats, males are bitten more by dogs. Animal bites are common in children. The dog bite causes structural damage. Cat and dog bites affect the upper extremity more than the lower extremity and there is delayed presentation and usually the injury and the care is underestimated. How about the bacteria? In the dog 50% mixed infection you will have aerobe and anaerobe. The average is about six organisms. The cat bite on the other hand have a higher rate of infection. The cat is small, sharp teeth that is a needle-like that can puncture and can cause deep wounds that can penetrate the joint and the flexor tendon sheath. And this puncture wound sometimes seals immediately so it's not noticed or is underestimated. So it becomes not obvious outside. Therefore, it takes longer to initiate the treatment. What causes infection in both dog and cat bites? Delay treatment more than 12 hours, older age, crush or puncture wound, host conditions such as diabetes or immunosuppressed patients. In general, the bacteria for both is polymicrobial with more than one in a row. The most common isolate from both cat and dog bite is the pastrella. Pastrella takes about a week to grow. Pastrella is present in about 50% of dog bite infection. Pastrella is present in about 80% cat bite. Treatment. If the patient is seen early, you will do irrigation in the emergency room. You will give tetanus texoid. You will splint. You will give antibiotics. And you will do local wound care and observation. If the treatment is delayed, the patient may have infections such as an abscess or septic arthritis or tenosynovitis or even osteomyelitis the patient would need to go to surgery for IND. You can suture the wound primarily in facial wound because this area is very rich in blood supply, secondary closure in most of the wounds. Augmenting is the antibiotics commonly used 
for dog and cat bites. Almost everybody with a cat bite is given Augmentin. All cat bites should be covered with Augmentin regardless of the size of the wound. Do you find that iodine or soap may reduce the development of rabies if the animal is suspected to be infected? If the patient is suspected to have rabies, the patient will be given vaccination and immunoglobulin. Cat scratch disease is a different entity. It is an infection that is transmitted by cat scratch. The lesion is small, less than one centimeter, is self-limited, caused by Partonella hensali bacteria. The patient may have a swollen or draining lymph nodes, fever, fatigue, headache. The swollen tender lymph node can be confused with a tumor. The treatment usually antibiotics and no biopsy is needed.